What is going on guys, it's Wolf here, and welcome back to some more Terraria. Now last time we left off, we actually took on all three mechanical bosses at once and got that achievement. You wouldn't know it if you, if you watched because we killed them so like, and fast, it was insane. It was like under 20, 30 seconds or something insane. It was, it was insane. <laughs> I need to come up with a new word. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, we're doing more uh, achievements and stuff with that just because, you know, we're at the end of the game. Might as well just do a few achievements until we hit, like, episode 100. Then we could end off season one here. <laughs> and then we could worry about uh, starting a season two with mods and maybe even expert mode. Still kind of on the fence about expert mode, but... Uh, and then, of course, uh, a large world. I'm pretty sure that's something you guys wanted me to do. And... Uh, corruption. I'm always I'm always trying to say like crimson, but corruption. We need to make sure the world has corruption. And thankfully, now we get to actually choose what type of world it's going to be before we actually create it. So that's going to be really cool. Uh, unfortunately, if we're modded, then we have to go back to 1.3 and all that kind of stuff. But uh, I, I don't know. I, I guess I could just spawn in a bunch of worlds until we actually do have uh, corruption or whatever. It shouldn't be too hard to figure it out. Either way, let's just figure out what achievements we have left. Uh, to do and that we can do like it will worm fodder we're probably going to save that for season two like i said a few times have all possible in town npcs we could probably go to the desert underground desert and try and find this guy this golfer guy uh the only way is up rock bottom i got comments from you guys saying yeah rock bottom all you have to do is just go to the bottom of the world so i assume we could uh just put on our terra spark boots and just go down into the underworld and just keep digging and then uh oh terra spark I think, I think we have the Obsidian Shield as well. I forget which one uh, prevents, like, getting hurt by lava and stuff like that. Like, straight up from lava. Uh, but either way, we'll, we'll be able to do that, no problem. And then fire a bee gun while wearing a full set of bee armor. I need to actually look what that, what that is. I don't think it's the uh, the decorative set. And I think somewhere around here is, yeah, equipping die in every possible die slot. We could probably just do that, like, right now. We have so many uh, dies over here. I'm sure we could just equip, like, one color in every slot or something like that, right? Uh, which one is it? Dies in paint? Here we go. So where's the, uh, oh, this, this is paint, though. Ooh, used to make purple dye, though. Ooh. Oh, I thought we actually did have dye. Oh, wait, no, we do have dyes. Silver dye, brown dye, black ink. Used to make black dye. Okay. How do you make that, then? <laughs> How do I make black dye out of that? I need to talk to the guide. Where is he at? I need to go to the dye trader and just straight up buy dyes from him. That way I don't have to worry about this, right? Uh, there you go. So I just, uh, die vat. Oh, man, I never made a die vat. Man, I never really... See, that that's something we need to do in Season 2, is experiment more with some of the stuff that we kind of just, like, didn't do, you know? Uh, like, getting the die vat, and then, of course, you know, doing, like, ranged or magic or something like that. Still, still most likely going to be doing ranged. Where is the, uh, die trader at, though? Or whatever, whatever his profession is. I don't know where he's at. Witch doctor, marker the painter. Did he, uh, respawn over here? I just didn't really... Oh, jeez, something just died. <laughs> Speaking of die, I don't know where he is. Where's the die trader at? He's just straight up gone. Oh, no, he's not over here, no. You know, I, you know, that robot guy, the cyborg, never really did anything with him, unfortunately. Tax collector. Pretty sure we can go over there and get, like, 10 gold or something like that. Then Simon and the, uh, the pirate guy over there. Then down here is the clothier. Yeah, that's not the die trader, and we can't even go down there because the other guy's gone, the demolitionist. So, that kind of sucks. Man, I need to go down there and, like, cleanse it or something like that. But I don't know where the die trader is. He's, like, shit, I'm gone. All right, well, I, I guess we could just get a die vat. Oh, <laughs> I forgot we have the, uh, the like, grin tray there. I guess we can get a die vat. I just need to figure out how to make one, so I have to go look that up real quick. Oh, wait, no, never mind. I, I don't think you can make it. You have to actually buy it from the die trader, which isn't even in our world right now, so that sucks. Man, is he really not in our world, or... Yeah, look at all these guys. I think he was, uh, like purple or something like that. I'm not seeing him right now, though. Nah, that sucks. I don't know what to, what I have to do to get him to spawn in. We have plenty of spawn. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, is there something going on in the desert that lets him not spawn in over there? Like, is the steampunker, like, taking up one of the spots or something? Yeah, see, look at this. This is completely open right here where Tyrone is. This is this is his a actual area. Here's the steampunker's actual area. He should be spawning in right here, but he's not. I don't know why not. Hold on. Am I trying to a housing query? Yeah, it's suitable, but he's not spawning in. <laughs> I don't know where he is. He's like straight up gone. I guess we'll put the uh, Terra Spark boots up there. Let's see. Yes, there you go. Get the uh, turtle shell thing. There you go. I guess we can go get the uh, the dig down to the bottom of the earth thing real quick. Just because I'm like, we were right here anyway. So oop, there you go. Unfortunately, still don't have a teleport for the... Uh... Oh, you know what? Let's go get the Clintaminate or... Uh... Yeah, Clintaminator. Let's go get that thing, and let's go Clintaminate a little bit over there, and 
There it is right there. Dark blue, that's for glowing mushroom. Where's the green one at? To spread, uh... I think I just have to go buy some from, uh, whatever her name is. <laughs> but I, I just want to go do some cleansing over there. That way we can hopefully put the demolitionist back over there, right? Oh, there she is right there. I think, is this, uh... No, not her. Yeah, yeah, not her. I need to go to the steampunker, right? Yeah. Always getting those confused. I don't know why. <laughs> but she's over here, isn't she? Yep, there she is right there. Judith. Let's buy some, uh, some of the green. Yeah, there it is right there. Green solution. And a lot of it. Oh, 411. Not like I'm going to notice that much. 42 platinum in my inventory. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Didn't mean to teleport home right there. Yeah, we need to go over here and then go down the elevator thing. All right. Am I the, uh, yeah, I'm right here. Uh, let's put that right there. Yeah, you guys did also comment saying I need like a, a hot rod or a uh, lava lava proof rod. Apparently, the only way to get that is by doing uh, angler missions. Like, you can you can make a fishing rod out of something after you do so many angler missions or something like that, like seventy five percent drop or something. I I forget the numbers. <laughs> and then another one where you do like a bunch of them and he just straight up straight up gives you like a lava proof fishing rod. And yeah, <laughs> that's not going to be happening anytime soon. We've only done like. A dozen of his missions or something like that, if I had to guess. I don't know how many missions he has in total, though, but get rid of all these. There you go. Get rid of that guy as well. Let's go down to the uh, underworld area and try and actually dig down to the bottom of the earth and try and get that uh, rock bottom achievement. I guess you'll be hitting like, uh, hold on, yes. Why? I, I, I do. Yeah, see, look at that. There is a little bit of a timer there on the lava. I was pretty sure that we were able to, uh, or maybe I guess you could just walk on the lava unlimited amount of times, but can't just swim in it forever. I thought we were able to swim in it forever, though. I forget what potentially gave us that buff. But, you know, we're able to swim forever because we have the mermaid thing right now. I guess you're not able to do that, right? Oh, wait, is that a mimic? No, that's a uh, rare rare plant or something like that, right? I get, I get to pick that up. Oh, there you go. Strange plant. There you go. I got it right there. I don't want to Oh, whoa, what is that? Topaz bunny. Yeah, these bunnies spawn, like, very frequently over here, you guys. It's crazy. Oh, look at that! Crimson X. Yep. I think you're able to, uh... What was it called? Oh, the f hey, look at that. The die trader has arrived. What took him so long? He didn't die recently, did he? <laughs> I don't know where he spawned in, though, but, uh... Oh, yeah, let's get the, uh... I forgot about the Terra Prism. I forgot to spawn that in before, uh... Whenever I started the episode. But, yeah, it, I don't know what took him so long, though. Either way, let's go down here. I don't know what... I, I, I'm completely derailed on whatever train of thought I had right there. <laughs> I'm so confuzzled. Anyways... Uh, oh yeah, I, I don't know if we had something that that let me swim in lava unlimited amounts, kind of like how we have the mermaid thing where we're able to, uh, swim in, uh, water unlimited amounts. I guess we can go, like, right here. That way we're not swimming in the lava, you know? So I guess we'll dig here. Oh, whoa! Oh man, we almost accidentally took on another wall of flesh right there if that would have been a, uh, a devil guy that had a, a little, what do you call it, the voodoo doll thing. Jeez, I am off today. What is happening? <laughs> Hold on, yeah, we have a lot of lava there. I just... I need to find a place where I can just dig down without having to worry about lava flowing all over the place. Like, right here. This will be... Oh, whoops. Wait, what happened right there? Oh, I was shooting down arrows. Whoops, forgot about that. Yeah, the stars are uh, because of the holy arrows. I figured that out while editing last episode or something like that, so... Nothing too crazy there, but... Oh, what happened? Oh! I forgot. Yeah, you dig into Hexstone, and it, it makes the lava drip in there. Yeah, man. I forgot about that. A hundredth lava slide. I thought it'd be way more than that by now. Golly. Oh, yeah, you know what? Let's go into one of these things. Because at least this kind of digs down to the lava a little bit. Yeah, is that a... No, that's an actual chest right there. I thought it was a mimic. Yeah, see, look at this. This is a good spot right here. Boom. Let's make sure we avoid Hexstone. So we don't have to worry about lava flowing into us and having a little... Oh, we well, can't really avoid it here, can you? Man, there's so much of it, though. But I am relatively close to the bottom, right? I assume, how big is, like, the border of the of the map here? Uh, yeah, we're actually decently close. I guess that pure black right there is the bottom. So we could probably put up with a little bit of uh, lava flowing into us. Or maybe I could do this, right? Because this thing does have such great reach, you know? There we go. Let the lava flow out into that lava pool, and then we can just straight up avoid it. There we go. This is a little bit smarter here, which is good. There we go. And then we'll let it pour into there. Because this thing has, like, what, 10 range or something like that to break uh, blocks, which is really, really cool. So there you go. Break all the hex stone. Don't want to let the lava from over there flow into here, though. Oh. Okay. You know what? Let's get some ash block. There you go. Oh, per oh look at this. This is, uh, this is good. Look at that. I don't even need to do that. Cool. That strategy worked out pretty Oh, we did it. I think we're here at the bottom. It's not moving down anymore, you guys. Oh, we got it. Rock bottom. 
finally got that achievement. Awesome. So how are we doing on achievements now? Uh, we're at 81%. Hey, we went up a whole 1% right there. Yes. All right, let's teleport home. I don't think we have to do anything here. Oh, man, I wanted to... I forgot it. <laughs> right whenever I remember that. I wanted to use the contaminator to move... Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, let's go back to the desert pylon. Oh, yeah, there's the dye tray. Let's go buy the, the dye... You know, let's forget that. Let's just buy shred up dyes from him. <laughs> don't want him to worry. Oh, wait, yeah. You only sell silver. Okay, let's get the dye vat then. 420, hey, 40 gold, 20 silver. Got a pretty good discount there, silver, brown. I don't know where we got the black from. Probably made that out of uh, something else though, but uh, yeah, you know what, I'll continue buying some dyes from him. Let's just get a bunch of silver and, and there you go. Yeah, let's get like 10, there you go. Put that in like every slot. That way I look completely silver. Oh, whoa, what in the world? I look black and white right now. Why did I not get that achievement? I have to put it over here. Oh, I have to put it over, jeez, I have to put it over there too. Golly. That's probably how they trick you. You think, oh man, I got it all over there, so I have everything, but no. Let's get all of our uh, equipment died as well, so that should be enough, right? Yep. Hey, die hard achievement. Everything's, I love how there's like a splash of, oh, you guys can, oh, you can see it there though. There's like a splash of like a little bit of color there, like a rainbow, <laughs> but I'm all black and white whenever I died myself right there. <laughs> I guess we can keep ourselves like this. This is kind of interesting at least. Uh, anyways, I guess I'll put up some trash over here. Oh wait, I did have, Clintamin. Oh, it must have been ammo. It must have kept it in ammo. Or, uh... Yeah, there it is right there. Whoops. Alright, well, there you go. So we have that. Die vat. I don't... Where are we going to put this? I don't know. Oh, you know what? We can go put it in his area. Over here. Kind of like we have the, uh, steampunkers thing is... Where is it? There it is right there. Can I put it right here and the door can still open? Yes, and... Yes, okay. So it'll, it'll just open up that way. Okay. <laughs> you guys, look at that! Because I died my uh my, my companion right there, he's black and white too, the little Grinch. And the uh little little skull guy up there is black and white too. My shield is black and white. What else? Oh yeah, my uh Well the static hook. Isn't that already black and white? I don't think really anything changed there, so nothing too crazy, I suppose. Oh, you know what? We need to get the gravestones. We have a lot of gravestones. I got comments of you guys saying, yeah, you only need like four of them or something like that to technically make a grave biome. Yeah, look at all these other stuff. See, what if we start season two? And we see a bunch of statues. We need to we need to save them. We don't want to sell them because, of course, we can actually use them just like the heart statue above uh, in our boss area. Want to actually use those? Let's use these headstones. These look pretty cool with the little crosses on them. Uh, we could actually use those to potentially spawn in things like the jellyfish. We saw those able to spawn in jellyfishes. Uh, we're able to. Is it jellyfish or jellyfishes? I don't know what the plural would be for that. <laughs> Getting sidetracked. <laughs> but uh, you, you know, we're, oh yeah, I forgot about the topaz bunny. We'll be able to uh, spawn in a bunch of enemies and, and grind them. I don't think they drop money whenever you grind them. I think they only drop like, like if I had a, a, a slime statue and it spawned in a bunch of slimes, I guess it would only spawn in the uh, the slime or it will only drop the gels there. Not the 61 copper that we got right there. So kind of a little bit of a downside there, but nothing too crazy, you know. Uh, I do want to make another grave somewhere. I guess we could do it like, over oh yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's go over to the ocean biome. Let's go over there because I got some comments of you guys talking about gnomes. Saying that they spawn underneath the giant trees, and <laughs> I know there are a lot of giant trees in that uh, other world we went into to get the enchanted sword, uh, which I think is another thing. You were able to fish for the enchanted sword and get it from like a box, or do you have to get it from the enchanted sword like shrine? I think you were able to get it from like that axe we saw earlier. That was like a demonic axe or something like that. I think you were able to get it whenever one of those random swords attack you too. I'm not 100% sure I might be thinking about something else. But we only have like one of these giant trees over here in this world, unfortunately. So I don't know if we're going to find any gnomes here. I do have a garden gnome though. I, I think it's, a, I don't know if it's the same thing, but I don't know how to like turn that guy into life, right? And make me, make, apparently I need to like lure him from the underground to like above ground or something like that. And that's how you get that achievement. So that's probably going to be another one we have to save for season two. When we have another world that has, you know, better trees or giant trees like this one over here. And I'm not really seeing any other ones that are like underground or anything like that. I don't know if that also counts the the giant trees in the jungle biome because there are those giant trees, right? Can I find one over here? Yeah, like this, like this. I, I, I yeah, ivy chest inside of this like giant jungle tree right here. Uh, and then there's like roots growing out. You can see right there. Yeah. I don't know if I can find it. Oh yeah, see, look at here's another one right here with some roots and stuff. I don't know if it counts as those trees, which would, it would make sense because look at how underground they are. If you have to lure a uh, gnome from this all the way above ground, yeah, that'd be quite a feat to try and do, you know? So I assume it maybe be one of those as well, but I also assume, I, I think it might just be one of these over here because I'm pretty sure somewhere over here, 
there was a uh, meteor crash. Yeah, like right here. And I think this is where I found the gnome or something like that. <laughs> Isn't the gnome supposed to like raise your uh, luck stat or something like that, I believe? Uh, I, I think so. Either way, I need to go underground. <laughs> I wanted to go over here and clean the, uh, the, the, the underground area. So we can actually move the demolitionist back underground because the heckin' crimson is spread under there. So he's like, oh, I don't want to live where the crimson is. Oh. He's all picky. So let's just go over there and clean it up a little bit so he'll move in down there. So we can actually fast travel down there in case we ever want to do anything else. Oh, yeah. Man, I'm, I'm so sorry. There's so many things I need to do. So many achievements I'm trying to do, and I'm getting so distracted and sidetracked and pulled, stretched thin and stuff. <laughs> I wanted to make a grave uh, biome, and I forgot to do that over there. I wanted to do it by the trees because it was relatively open and there's not really much going on over there, and I forgot to do it. <laughs> so this is just terrible. I, I, I need to be a little bit uh, less sidetracked. I get so distracted so easily, you guys. Golly. All right, well, let me head back down here where the demolitionist and the, uh, uh, the, the clothier are hanging out and uh, we can go clean that up a little bit. Oh, here we are. Okay, so yeah, you can see right here, he's not, this is where we, I think this is where he was uh, assigned to live and stuff like that, right? So if we do this, clean it up a little bit. I forget how, how deep this penetrates through the biome and stuff like that, you know? Uh, I guess we can see here. Oh, it basically goes to the edge of the screen, so that's cool. There we go. We want to clean underneath as well. I might want to see if I could uh, completely detach that from anything to make sure, you know, nothing ever spreads into it, you know? And of course, yeah, there's Hallowed here. I don't know if, I doubt Hallowed will prevent him from wanting to live there, right? Like it's, it's just a regular old biome. Well, Crimson, that like straight up kicks things out, right? So I think we have to worry about that. So is this clean enough now? Can we do the, oh, whoa, look at that. Grass is growing right there. Oh yeah, because it was a uh, mushroom biome grass there. And now it's turned into a, uh, <laughs> look at that. You know, yeah, you know what? Let's do this, there you go. And this is where the mushroom biome just kind of stops. There we go. Yeah, about right here. Just make sure it stops growing there. There we go. So look at that. That's really cool. Some ground and stuff like that. So let's see. I is this suitable now? Uh, where was it? Oh, whoops. I need to hit the house. Housing query. Yeah, look at that. Suitable. So where is he? Where's the demolitionist at on this? He had like a little helmet, I think he had. Or is he dead? Did he die? Uh, I don't know. I'm not seeing him right now, you guys. Yeah, I don't know. I I'm not seeing him here, you guys. I'm going through every NPC here and I'm not seeing him. Man, that sucks. I guess if anything, we could also try and go to the under- Oh, look at that spot. Yeah, see, these things always spawn in over here. It's kind of crazy. Like, we saw them at first, and I was kind of like, oh, here's the uh, bug net. I was kind of like, whoa, look at that. It's like a diamond squirrel. And we can get a little- Oh, and there's another one right there, too. Uh, what's that one? Amber squirrel. We can get a little bit of money from these guys. Nothing too crazy, but at the same time, not, it don't really matter this late into the game. Like, look at that. Ten silver right there. Ten silver right there. Nothing, nothing, nothing to write home about, so- uh, tat tattered claw. I guess we can get rid of that. I think you could use that to summon in like a gnome battle or something like that. Like, yeah, I don't really want to do that. <laughs> like, maybe we could do that some other time. But uh, yeah, we'll worry about that some other time. But uh, I'm not seeing the demolitionist over here with his little little helmet. He's not sticking out for me. And I'm, I hovered over everyone. And he's not over here. So maybe just like the die trader, we have to wait for him to spawn in. And then like five minutes from now, he'll actually spawn in. And I'll be like, hey, there he is right there, you guys. <laughs> I don't know, but, uh, oh yeah, look, look at the black and white werewolf, because I'm all, I'm all, like, dyed into silver and stuff like that, that's kind of cool, look at that, like, I'm not brown, like, werewolf is normally just brown, so, I guess it looks a little bit more interesting, maybe, I'll, maybe, do we have any actual colors over here, like, at least we have the dye vat, so maybe we can get, uh, black ink, how do you, uh, how do you actually get the, oh, negative dye? You to make pur oh, you know what, let's do, let's get some purple, mix into purple with this, how do I do that? Violet dye, violet hut. You know what? Uh, yeah, see, red hut. Yeah, you know what? Let's get red. Red will be pretty cool, you know? So let's go. Yeah, let's go talk to you, Dylan. What do we do with red husk to get the red dye? Yeah, just use it in the dive app. Boom. And then, oh, whoa. Oh, I forgot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at how fast we are with the terrorist park as well, you guys. It's crazy. Look at how fast we move now compared to previously where we used the UFO and it actually moves a little bit faster. But there's a dive at. Let's actually get some, uh, there it is right there, red dye. How many do we have over here? I don't know, like 12? There you go. Let's turn all this into red. That'd be pretty cool. Or maybe we could do, like, red and black or something like that. That'd be interesting. So we got a red crinch. Uh, well, we have this for the achievement. I don't know if we want to... Yeah, you know what? Let, let, let's get rid of the dyes for all this stuff over here. Oh, yeah, the UFO was, uh... Hold on, what's the UFO look like whenever it's dyed? Ooh, look at that! Interesting! And what's it look like normally? I forget. Let's see. Oh, jeez. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Oh, I don't know. Like, it just kind of turns everything into red. Wow, this is kind of a mix of blue and red and gray and stuff like that. I don't know. I'll keep it as is. 
I don't think I want to change that, honestly. But for my, for my armor over here, I'll, I'll definitely change that. Where do I do that? Oh, wait, there we go. <laughs> Let's get rid of all the silver dye over here. And then we'll just turn everything red. And we'll see how demonic we look. Boom. Oh, you can't really even see it. Oh, yeah, look at that. My shield and my wings isn't even... Oh, I was about to say the Terra Prisma's red, but no, it's not. That's kind of interesting, though. I don't know how I like that. I look, I look a little bit too evil, honestly. <laughs> like I'm straight up from the depths of heck. Where was I going right there? Did I forget to do something again? I, I guess I kind of did. <laughs> I guess I can go get the uh, the gravestone thing over here now, finally, right? I wanted to do it over here because it's relatively, like, we haven't really done much over here, so... Uh, do I want to do it by the tree? Yeah, let's do it over here by the dungeon. I guess we do it over there, so let's get on this thing. There you go. Place down... I think only four gravestones, and then if we place down six gravestones and then let an NPC move in there, apparently we're supposed to get some really cool trades, so definitely want to consider that here in the future. I don't know what NPC would necessarily want to live willingly in a graveyard, but I guess we can test that out. Is this, uh, yeah, this is about in the middle of where the uh, thing is. 700th possessed, I think that's only hard mode only for that creature, too, so that's kind of interesting, so. I don't know how close or spread apart these need to be, but, uh, I guess I'll just place them all, like, right next to each other, so, yep, yep, three, and then four. Oh, whoops. Oh, there's a sapling there. It's, oh, man. There we get all these. There we go. So we have three right there, and if I place the fourth, are we going to get ghosts? Let's get six. There you go. Bunch of dead bodies right there. I don't know. Oh, it don't say, like, when I died for each one. Oh, wait, yeah, it does. Oh, no, I can edit it, but I thought it'd remember, like, oh, I died on, like, October 10th or whatever right there on that one specifically. Oh, is that the ghost? Did I just kill a ghost right there? I don't know if that was or what. Oh yeah, I, I, yeah, I've got things turned black and white. Whatever it starts, yeah, look at this. Everything's like really, really black and white right now. Or at least it's starting to fade, like the saturation is starting to go down a little bit, you know? I might place down even more, because we have like, what, 14 or something like that? Yeah, or, uh, we had like 16, I guess. Yeah, there you go, possessed armor down. Let's place down another one right there. Oh! Oh, I, just, I had to place down seven for that one? Quiet neighborhood, we got that achievement. Oh, look at this. Look, look, look at all the, uh, the, the, the fog, the smoke. Someone's got a fog machine running over here, you guys. Let's place down even more over here just because, hey, I've got so many of them, might as well use them, right? Yep. Yep. Maybe I'll cut down that tree and make room for more graves. There you go. Uh, let's see. There you go. Place down even more. Oh, oh, I'm hearing something new. Is there a ghost or- oh, oh, no, it's an angry nimbus. Yeah, see, look how black and white it is right now. Very spooky. Interesting. I'm not seeing any ghosts or anything like right. Uh, anything like that right now. So, I don't know what to do about that. Uh, we still do- uh, maybe I'll build like a house or something like that right here. We have to, a little bit of wood. Try and move an NPC and see what we get out of it. Uh, I guess we can look at the bestiary. There you go. See if there are any NPCs that are okay with living in a graveyard. I don't know who would want to live there. <laughs> but I guess we'll check out. Yeah, see there's a demolitionist right there with his little mining helmet and his little, 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 whatever that stick is with the little lantern on the back there. Uh, jungle, desert, desert. Yeah, so we have everyone basically where they want to go. Ocean for the stylist? Really? I, I guess I can move her over where Simon and them are. Maybe build a third layer over there. Surface. I guess I can move the zoologist over here and she'd be fine, but... I think we have something going on with, uh... Them and the guide and maybe a couple other people. Where they're, uh... What was that? Playable instrument right there? I guess she plays a, a weird cactus guitar or something like that as like a weapon. I never noticed that. Uh, but yeah, we, we could probably just move anyone over here, but I don't know if we want to move those. Oh yeah, and then we had Santa Claus as well. Yeah, I bet Santa Claus despawned because I left the world since last episode. And uh, yeah, I don't think anyone over here is... Uh, oh yeah, look at how much... 90.23% collected on the beast area, you guys. Holy... What are we missing? Look, look at all that stuff. And yeah, look at these. These things are like uh, pre-hard mode or something like that, right? Yeah, dungeon. Oh, you know. Oh, thunderstorm in the background. I got comments from you guys saying, yeah, you need to do a dun uh, dungeon guardian. Uh, just load into a new world with your current character. Do the dungeon guardian because you guys know, whenever you try and go into the dungeon, like either during the day or something like that, I forget. Uh, if you go down a little bit too deep, you'll get attacked by like a skull that does like a, like a million damage or something like that. Apparently the thing has like decently low health, like at least compared to what we have right now, <laughs> our damage put out right now, at least it will be able to hopefully kill him, you know? So maybe I'll actually try that out. Maybe we go and load into a new world and see what we can do. What's that? Is that a special worm? Oh, it's a maggot. Ugh. Ugh. So I guess worms turn into maggots in the, in the spooky biome. Ugh. What is the fishing? Uh, 22% uh, bait powder right there. Not, not too bad, I suppose. Still not seeing any ghosts. Or maybe, maybe I'm not seeing any ghosts because my heckin' uh, Terra Prismas. Oh yeah, we can get two of them. Okay, well, yeah, there you go. Because my Terra Prismas are always killing them. 
<laughs> I'm not able to see him in time there, so I can't like, I suppose. Look at that Nimbus down there. There he goes, dead. Yeah, I, I guess we can go into a new world and test that out a little bit. Kind of want to go see what other achievements and stuff like that that we can get as well uh, before we try and do that. I do know uh, getting 100% bestiary, that's something we could try and do. Uh, of course, I don't think we'll be able to do that without getting the... Uh, I don't know if it accounts for it, but I don't know if we could do the... Uh, without getting the Eater of Worlds, that thing, and all the other, like, uh, corrupted bosses and stuff like that. I don't know if we'll be able to get the 100% bestiary without getting those, you know, so... That kind of sucks. If anything, yeah, we can carry our uh, character through to another world. I guess we can get it that away. Uh, but maybe we could worry about that season two, just like that. A full pass. Yeah, we need to get the golf guy there. Maybe we'll put the golf guy over here in the graveyard. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Uh, fire the begun with a full set of B armor. Uh, I still don't know what that is. I need to actually. Yeah, you know what? Let me, let me look into that. What is B armor? Can I make that? Or do I have to actually have a drop? Oh I, oh, I can make it. Yeah. B's wax. And I might have a B gun somewhere. Okay, so just B-Wax. I don't know how much we have, though, but we might have enough. And then Lucky Break. Uh, I'd have to, because we have so much health right now, you know? I'd, have to, I'd have, to have to take off all my armor, figure out, like, how big of a drop we could survive and stuff like that. Maybe I'll go to, like, my boss arena and just fall from that and see how much health we have and then just build up from there until we actually have, like, a sliver of health, you know? That's stuff that we could do. Maybe next episode or something like that. Command 9, yeah, that one's going to be half, that's, that's going to have to save for season 2. Attain a rainbow rod, oh, yeah, what is a rainbow rod? Isn't that, uh, I think it's another drop from the, uh, Empress of Light, right? I feel like it's, it, it's something from her, considering, you know, rainbow and light and all that kind of stuff. Let's see. Oh, wait, no, you can just make it. 10 crystal shards, 2 unicorn horns, 10 pixie dust, soul of sight, soul of light, or, yeah, 15 soul of sight. We might be able to do that, you guys. Let's let's go and obtain golden. Yeah, that's going to take a little while. And yeah, see, so like that twenty fifth quest for the angler, we're only at twelve. Then fiftieth, we're only at twelve. And then uh, two hundred. Of course, we're only at twelve for that one. Golly, I still don't know what boss we're missing in Terraria. It might be the Eater of Worlds. I'm not hundred percent sure uh, if it accounts for you know separate worlds and stuff like that. And then Windy Day. Yeah, I got comments from you guys saying Windy Day is like technically a whole event, kind of like rain is like a whole event, and like a, a meteor shower is like a whole event, I guess. So yeah, I guess it can't just be a day that happens to be windy. It has to be literally a windy day. So maybe if I had some sort of weather monitor thing, it could actually tell me like if it's a windy day right now. And then yeah, I think I mentioned earlier, I need a specific uh, a fishing rod, even fishing bait in order to fishing lava and actually get something from that. And then trick a gnome into going, turning the stone. Apparently, yeah, just lure it into the surface and it'll turn to stone. Unfortunately, I only have like one giant tree in this world, so that sucks. Deliver head pats to pound. Yeah, you know what? Let's go to the zoologist. Go get a dog or something like that. That'd be that'd be pretty cool. I encounter a fairy, and then uh, yeah, these are supposed to be rare. I guess I'll look into the fairy. See, uh, like what, what, what? How rare is that? Here we go. There is a one point three nine two percent chance that a fairy will emerge from the shaken tree in the hallow at night. What is a shaken tree? Wait, how do I shake a tree? Wait, what? These fairies will spawn even if all fallen logs in the world have been broken. I don't know what that is. When a fairy is nearby, enemies. Enemy spawns are reduced. Similar in uh, similar sunflowers. Yeah, I forgot sunflowers did that. It's going to be really, really helpful during uh, season two, though, getting some sunflowers if we find those. But let's go home. Uh, we could definitely make the uh, the rainbow rod. I'm sure. I do want to go over here though and test. So shaking trees. Does that mean? How do I? Oh, man! I keep doing that. I need to stop doing that. Does that mean uh, hitting it just with an axe or something like that? Or does this count? As you can see some leaves coming out about every now and then as well. So I don't know if that counts as, as shaking the tree technically, and I don't know if it could be during the day or during the night or both or what. But we do have a couple trees over here, right? I don't know if a, a fairy's going to eventually come out of that if I keep hitting it so many times with a 1.3% chance or something like that of it coming out, perhaps. Maybe eventually it's going to come out. Like you can hear the swish, swish, little, little sound effect coming out of it every time we hit it. What's well, not happening right now, though? Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah, look at that pixie's dead. Yeah, see, there's there's swishes coming out of that every now and then, and we have plenty of trees over here too. So hopefully, eventually, we'll we'll get a, a fairy spawn out of this thing. I just don't know if this is specifically what we need to do, or if that. Oh, did a copper just come out of that tree? I feel like one did. I don't want to cut down that tree all all together though. But oh, I think this might be it. Hitting it with the axe like once. But oh, what is that? Dragon fruit. But not actually cutting down the tree. That might be it. Oh man, I was about to say, like, what in the world's happening right there? Yeah, my turret prismas are freaking out, killing everything and everything. There's a 1% chance every time we do this. I don't know how many times I could hit these before it actually cuts them down, though. I should probably look into that. Let's see. Oh, a little bit of wood. Can I hit it four times? Ah, fourth time breaks it. Okay, so I can hit it three times. One, two, 
Three. There you go. And hopefully we can get a pixie out or a fairy. Two. Three. Nope, nothing. And of course, if these break, I can just plant down a sapling and then it'll grow again. So it's not its not like the end of the world or anything like that, right? <laughs> if, if one breaks, but whatever. Uh, we can make the bee armor, I think, right? Bee wax, and then of course make the uh, the rainbow gun. We can do that. Where's bee wax on this one? Oh, there. Oh, jeez. Yeah, we've got tons. Hold on. Let's do. Uh, up there. Yep. Load all that stuff up. Uh, how are we doing in the void vault? Yeah, we got a lot of trash in there. <laughs> so I'll take care of that some other time. Maybe off camera. Maybe. Maybe never. Who knows? Maybe I'll just never do that because we'll just end the episode or uh, season or whatever before I can do that. Red dye. Put that up. Uh, don't we have a lot of, uh, did I put the silver dye up? I feel like I might have. I don't know where it is, though. It might have auto put up itself or something like that. I don't know. Either way, I guess I'll sell some of the trash real quick just to empty it out. Empty it out? Empty it out? <laughs> just, to, just to empty out my inventory. Oh, man, I sold a ma maggot right there. Man, didn't want to do that, but what are you going to do, right? So there you go. Uh, green. Oh, wait. You get oh, did I sell the green solution to him? Oh, whoops. Yeah, get that back. <laughs> I don't want to sell. Oh, what? No! Man, I only grabbed one back. Oh, man. Oh, that sucks. Okay, whatever. Who knows? We, we might not even need to use that. We have so much money anyways. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> oh, let's put that up. There you go. Put, put the contaminator up as well. So there you go. Uh, oh, whoops. Uh, yeah, I don't need I don't need two piggy bank things. So there you go. Let's get the bee wax now. And I don't know how to how, like how to make it, but we just go over here and then it should. Yeah, there it is right there. Yeah, bee headgear and then just shoot the bee gun. If we don't have a bee gun, we could easily spawn in the... Uh, the being queen bee, like, who knows how many times and hopefully be able to get it, but it should be in ranged weapons, right? No, nah, man, I think I sold it. Ah, man. Is it, oh, it, or it might be magic. I forget it, I forget what it was. I don't think, it, yeah, it, it is magic, isn't it? Oh, there's the wasp gun. Can I get a bee gun anymore? I don't know if I can get a bee gun anymore. Maybe you can only get wasp guns. Hold on, let me look into that. Uh, 33%, okay, yeah, 33% chance from the queen bee. I just need to figure out how to spawn her back in, and then spawn her in like four times, and we should be able to get her, uh, her bee gun, and then get that achievement, you know? So, let's see. How, how do I spawn her in? I know it's like a, a beemination, that's what it's called. <laughs> so, we need honey blanc, stingers, hive, and bottled honey. So, let's get those going, and hopefully make those. And then, of course, try and make this, uh, rainbow gun. I forget. How, what, what do I need for that again? <laughs> Man, I'm all over the, I'm all over the wiki today, you guys. It's crazy. Rainbow Rod, not Rainbow. Did I call it a Rainbow? We already have a Rainbow Gun. Ten Crystal Shards. We have a lot of those. Unicorn Horns. Two of those. So where are Crystal Shards and Unicorn? There it is right there. Ten of these, I think. And two Unicorn Horns. I think we have a lot of those by now. Especially because we have the Surface Hallow. So, of course, those things are spawning a little bit more frequently for us. Let's see. Where are the Unicorn Horns? Oh, wait. Hold on. There they are. There we go. So, we need ten and then two and then ten Pixie Dust and then eight Soul Light. Ten Pixie Dust. An 8 soul of light and 15 soul of sight. So let's get 15 of these. Soul of light is this. 8 of these. And I think we can do it now, you guys. Get the... Oh! Oh, there it is right there. Rainbow Rod. Hey, we got the Prismancer. So what is this thing? Controllable rainbow. Ooh! Wait, is this like the rainbow gun, but I could just... Oh, it's like that! I remember! You know what? This is going to be good for doing outros. Oh, oh, whoops. Never mind it. Oh, auto. Yeah. And it uses mana too, right? Yeah, it uses mana. It uses about 25 mana or 20 mana or something like that, right? Yeah, 21 mana. Hey, look at that. There's that number right there. <laughs> uh, but I, I loved this weapon early game, you guys. Pre hard mode. It was really, really good. Uh, but of course, right now, it doesn't really make sense. Only made it for the achievement right there. So there you go. I guess we can go put that up over here in Magic and Summon. Demonic Blade. Yeah, get rid of the blade stat. That's garbage. <laughs> uh, we already have the B armor, so I can put the B wax. There you go. And uh, I guess we'll just make some uh, B emanations real quick. Get like four, maybe five of those just in case we get a terrible luck trying to get a, a bee gun from her. So we need uh, five honey blocks, a stinger, and five. So 25 honey blocks, five stingers, 25 hive, and uh, 20, or five actual honey. So if I wanted to make five of those things real quick. So let me let me try and get those real quick. All right. All I need is just uh, honey blocks now, right? Yeah, honey blocks. I just need those. So we should be able to get those in the jungle. No problemo. I think there's a, uh, a thing over here. A beehive, like, right here. Look at how crazy... Oh, look at that. Even the dust behind us is, like, red. That's interesting. Hmm. But, yeah, there's a thing, like, right here. So, I don't think I have to go too far to find it, right? Yeah, here we go. So, what was the, uh, honey block itself? What did that look like? This is just... Oh, there it is, I think. Right? Right there. Yeah, that's it right there. Cool. And there's even more right here. I think I might have gotten some. So, yeah, there you go. Two more honey block right there. So, yep. I'm on to you there, honey block. This, is, this might be enough. Look at that fish thing right there. Dead. 
Honey blocks right here. I need 25 of these things, by the way. I think that's actual liquid honey right there. Oh, wait. No, those are honey blocks. There you go. How many do we have? We have 30. Okay, we can do it. Five of Beam Nations. Let's, let's, let's get five of those. Two, three, four, five. Hopefully get Bee Gun out of this. You know, it's where Bee, uh, how do I do that? There you go. Actually, wear the Bee Armor when we take her on. So there you go. We can take her on with the, uh, yeah, let's, let's go to the surface. Or you know what? Let's go home. There you go. Can you spawn her anywhere? I assume we can spawn her anywhere. It doesn't need to be in the jungle, I assume. I hope. So, uh, oh wait, nope. Yeah, it has to be in the jungle. Man! All right. Let's just fast travel back over there. At least on the surface, there's a little bit more room and stuff like that. We don't have to worry about it falling down chasms and stuff. So, let's go over here. Uh, I think we took on a bunch of them over here trying to get to uh, something. So, I don't think it's really too bad to take them on right here. Here we go. Zenith! Oh! She survived a little bit right there. What do we get? We got the bee's knees. Okay, nothing too good. Look at the head right there. Oh, is that a, uh... Oh, I thought that was, like, something I could pick up right there. I guess not. Okay, let's do another one. So, there you go. Yeah, she survives a little bit longer than you'd really think because of how fast she's moving around. A little bit of ace. Oh, there we go. We got the bee gun. Okay. She got the bee gun on the second try, and then... Not the beans! Oh! Oh, we got red bee armor. I forgot. Yeah, we have the die and stuff like that, too. Cool. But, yeah, there you go. Shooting down a bunch of bees using up our... Oh, no, I don't have any more magic anymore. Man, I guess remember when I was, like really obsessed with a bee gun because <laughs> like I, I'm like I'm not using magic and stuff like that and hey at least it shoots out a bunch of bees that, that, that follow enemies and stuff like that to try and kill them and you know do like one or two damage a piece so you know it adds up over time so it, it was pretty good early pretty hard mode and stuff like that right so actually you don't it's, it, no the queen bee is a uh, pretty hard mode isn't it so it was like late pretty hard mode but even then we didn't really have too many uses for our magic so at least we we're able to use it then right so that's good uh, let's put up uh, more stuff over here and let's see sort items do we have any more repeats yeah we have another blade staff there for some reason put the uh, blade or a bee gun there there you go because it is magic damage i'll just put it up right there and i don't know if you guys can hear my voice is kind of getting scratchy scratchy so might as well end off this episode right here before i literally lose my voice so i guess we sell you know what i kind of want to keep the bee nades and stuff we already have the bee hat here are these umbrella slime banner what I need, to, I need to actually use that. That looks cool. We can get rid of these, though. Nothing too crazy about these. Quick honeycomb releases bees. Oh, yeah, we already have that, I think. Hive one. Yeah, we already have that. No need to worry about that. Uh, then, yeah, here we go. Take another bee, uh, blade staff. I don't care. Let me put on my sun uh, star. What is it? Solar flare armor. <laughs> Let me put that on again. Uh, another armor. I guess I'll put that up over here. There we go. Look at all the armor we've had through the episodes, you guys. Almost 100 episodes, and that's like the main armor we've had. Remember when we had Meteor? Remember when we had Crimson? Never actually used the Ancient Cobalt. Molten, I think we had that for a little while. Mithril had that for a tiny little bit, and then we moved on to Admantite. Then we had Hallowed Mask, Squires Plating, Hallowed Grease. Didn't really use that, and then Valhalla's Knight Armor. I don't think we ever had a full set as like our main thing, but uh, we have a full set now, so that's cool. Uh, but either way, let's put up more stuff. There you go. Put up all that, and then high blocks, or honey blocks, put that up right there. Cool. Let's see, we're going to put the hunt umbrella slime banner, though. I guess we could do another thing, like, right here and put it next to the pumpkin, I suppose. So, either way, we got a lot of really good- Oh, yeah, look at this. Oh, look at that. The demolition has finally arrived right at the very end there, you guys. Cool. So, hopefully, he, where did he move in? Is he- I hope he's downstairs where, uh- Oh, he is! Look at that. He remembered his old, uh, home there. Cool. Oh, there's a little bit of crimson right there. I need to go clean that up, and- a little bit right there too so yeah i'll definitely have to remember to clean that up to make sure he doesn't like move out again but uh hey look at that we got a lot of really good progress this episode you guys and i'm not going to complain if we actually end it off right here so anyways thank you guys all very much for watching if you guys enjoyed the video be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below and if you guys want more of these awesome videos be sure to hit that subscribe button and while you're down there be sure to ring that bell so youtube sends you a notification as soon as a new episode of terraria comes out or anything else i upload that way you never miss an episode <laughs> look at that Look at that slime with an um umbrella slime banner right there. <laughs> that thing looks so stupid. Like an umbrella slime already looks stupid, but look at that. Why does it have like an eyeball popping out of it? It looks kind of weird. What is that? I don't know what that white is right there. Or is that like the little hook of the umbrella or something like that? I don't know. But either way, there you go. We could use that for a little bit of decoration. But like I said, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Terraria. Oh, bye there.